Now we need to add to a negative number. And for these questions, our answer will be positive. And we know that because if we ignore the negative signs for a moment, 5 is larger than 2, 8 is larger than 4, and 9 is larger than 3. So first we have minus 2 plus 5. So on a number line, we can start at minus 2 and then count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that takes us to 3. Now we could also count by jumping to 0 and then jumping the rest. So from minus 2, we need 2 more, we need to add 2 to get to 0, but then because we want to add 5 altogether, if we've added 2, we need to add another 3, and 0 plus 3 is 3, so that's our answer. Also notice, 5 minus 2 is 3, so if we switch the question around, we'll get the same answer. Now we have minus 4 plus 8, so we could start at minus 4 and then count on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That takes us to 4, so that's our answer. Or we could have counted more quickly by first adding to get to 0, and minus 4 plus 4 is 0, but then because we've added 4 and we want to add 8 altogether, we need to add another 4, and 0 plus 4 is 4. And again, notice 8 minus 4 gives us the same answer as minus 4 plus 8. So now we have minus 3 plus 9. We could start on minus 3 and then count on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That takes us to 6, so that's our answer. Or from minus 3, we could add 3 to get to 0 and then add another 6 because if we add 3 and then add 6, we've added 9 altogether. And again, 9 minus 3 gives us the same answer as minus 3 plus 9. 